Hey guys, it's Ben with Ameriren Equipment. Hey, I wanted to bring a video to you guys today. This is my RG1631 stump grinder. And um, today's video is going to focus on an issue I was having with the, uh, the drive wheels on the uh, front uh, cutter wheel side of the, of the unit. Um, I'll kind of explain what happened. Um, I do run equipment out and I had I have dualies on the front of this unit um, and one side the drive side with the uh, with the drive motor and chain that side would turn so the chain was fine everything was fine chain was tight enough everything was good it was turning um, but it would not turn it would only turn the other side if you were not going up a hill or if you're just on flat surface, you know, it'd turn the other side just fine just because of the movement of the these two wheels. But anytime you wanted to climb the trailer um, or if you're grinding and a bunch of chips, you know, were up in front of the, the dualies, um, they wouldn't, the, uh, the unit would not climb the chips. Uh, the the non-drive side would, uh, would just slip and keep, keep, uh, and one side would keep spinning, and so it wouldn't climb the trailer, it wouldn't climb the chips, so people were not being able to, uh, to, uh, mulch without pushing the unit forward. So I was trying to figure out, you know, what was going on with it. So I took, uh, the drive motor side, uh, wheels off. I'm going to show you what I found here. And, after I took the uh, the chain off here, um, off of this, which you can adjust right here, the chain um, to tighten it. Um, but on this part right here, I noticed there is a small keyhole right there. And whether the old key sheared or um, broke or whatever it did, it came out or wore down and then any time um, like I said we'd try to climb the trailer or they'd be mulching and they'd go up a, a bed of chips um, that whole shaft right there with the with the tires and everything that shaft right there and the tires they just spin um, because inside that keyhole is obviously a key square quarter inch by quarter inch by one inch key that's the size of it I called the manufacturer got the size of it and this is it right here this is just an assortment of keys um, and it's one of these right here right here it's this this is an inch and a half so I did cut off a um, half an inch um, and it doesn't have to be perfect so it's one inch, or it's quarter inch by quarter inch square, and then uh, you want it to be one inch long. And then I've already put in the new key, but what you do is you pull off this hub, and then on the back, this, this little keyhole is a little bit smaller than the quarter inch, but on the inside there's a, a little bit over an inch hole gap on the top part and on the shaft um, that that key goes in so when you put the key on the back side I just used a hammer and pounded it in and it eventually pounded inside there and it's now when you see when I spin the hub it rotates the tires with it so that way when this drive chain when this drive chain spins and rotates it's gonna have the four wheels turning, not just two. So, um, so that's that. I just thought I would show you guys a quick video how that's done. I think I bought those keys. Like I said, it's an assortment package. I bought it at Big R, which is like a TSC, uh, like a, a, a tractor farm supply company uh, here in uh, Indiana, and um, it was like six dollars for those set of set of keys so um, they're just nice to have on hand but I think it came with a, a couple of different uh, s sizes in the assortment package so uh, guys feel free to ask if you have any questions or anything um, 
But that's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.